everybody, CJ here. So I have another quick video for you. Uh, today we're going to talk about muscle density, uh, why that's important for building your body and building uh, not only a more aesthetically pleasing body, but also a body that has uh, more dense muscle fibers and gives you a more balanced look. Now it's especially important for a lot of people who lose, tend to lose a significant amount of weight. Um, but it's also important for guys who just train normally too. Uh, but the, the main reason why it's important for people who tend to lose a significant amount of weight is because if you lose a ton of weight and you have somewhat of a, a muscular body, the excess fat and the excess skin that you have accumulated from losing that weight actually will prevent you from looking more dense and bigger than you should be. So a simple technique that you can use outside of the gym, I tend to do it after my workouts, you know, I do it in the gym, but it's, an, it's a non-training method is what I'm trying to say here. Um, something that you can do, which I actually did tonight, um, is what I call stretch and flex, and that's for density, muscle density. Now, you think about your muscles, okay? It's a, for your bicep, it's a specific group of muscle fibers uh, encased in what is called fascia. So if you look, and you have, you know, all these muscle fibers here, right? All these muscle fibers, right? And they are encased in what is called a muscle fascia. It's a casing that goes around the muscle fibers and pretty much holds them together. Um, now, you work your muscles pretty hard, I'm sure, in the gym. And you want to get the most out of your training. So, what we do here is, after we train the specific muscle groups, so say this is our bicep, right? Just draw a little, little forearm here, and the tricep, and then here is your shoulder. So, this is your bicep here, and your forearm, the tricep. Um, after you get done training, you're usually pretty pumped up uh, to some extent. And you might be a little sore because the lactic acid is starting to set in and that's towards the end of your workout. So it's very important to maximize that specific window with not only nutrients in your post-workout shake, but also to get more room for your muscle fibers to repair and grow into new muscle fibers. So when I say stretch and flex, I basically mean, so tonight, for example, I work my biceps and my chest. So what I'm saying to do is after you've done your workout, you basically stretch those, those target muscle groups. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it for biceps, uh, but you can do simple stretches for chest and, and for legs and for shoulders and whatnot. But uh, to do for biceps, you stretch your bicep out like so. You stretch it out. I usually count for, uh, you know, like a long 30 seconds. Um, stretch it out for 30 seconds. And if there's nice and stretched, it's probably going to hurt because you're stretching it right after your training. and you're already sore, and there's a lot of blood and uh, fluid built up in the muscle, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a few seconds for it to loosen up and stretch, but just hold it for 30 seconds. And then what you want to do is, is flex it as hard as you can. So you stretch it out, 30 seconds, then you flex it as hard as you can. Now, when you flex it, it should be just as painful. You should be flexing it pretty much as hard as you can to get the most out of that stretch and flex procedure. So you flex it another 30 seconds. And then by that time, it's probably going to feel like it's pretty spent. But what that does is the stretch aspect of this technique stretches the fascia. So it gives it, you know, here's the original place the fascia was. It gives it just a little tiny bit more room for those muscle fibers to grow and expand. And not only for the muscle fibers to grow, but also to pulling creatine and extra blood flow, which helps with the muscle repair process. So you actually, it helps you recover more so than if you didn't do it. Because it stretches that casing out, allows more room for fluid and creatine and amino acids and protein and carbs to set in, help with the recovery process, and actually will give you a more full look usually the next day. Now if you do this after each workout and get in the habit of doing it, it only takes a few minutes after you're done working out. Um, I know most of you guys, really kick your ass in the gym, uh, kick your own ass in the gym, and you really want to get out of there, but take the, take the few extra minutes to just 
stretch out each muscle group, you know, your chest, your biceps, and do this technique. Trust me, it'll work wonders. Um, so after you stretch that, again, you flex it, and within a few weeks in the habit of doing that, you're actually going to increase the muscle density and quality of the muscle fibers that you're working. Um, and when I say this is important for people who drop weight, this actually gives you a more dense look, which actually um, not only helps strength, but gives you more of a, a pleasing shape. Uh, so it's a very important to, to include muscle density techniques like this one in your training protocol uh, along with the nutrition protocol because it will work wonders. Now you don't have to do it, uh, but I strongly recommend it because it will help, again, in creating more room for that muscle to grow and in turn give you more of a solid, dense muscle, not this spongy feeling you know, the stuff that you probably had for, for quite some time. So try this out. Again, it takes a couple weeks to work, but do it religiously. Try not to do it, you know, in the morning or at night. If you have to, that's fine, but I recommend doing it post-workout. As soon as you're done your workout, before you drink your shake, do this technique. Uh, if you're, you know, you need to know different stretches for different body parts. They're very easy to find online. I may do a video very soon for you guys on that, but... Um, again, try it out, leave your comments, email me, let me know what you think, and, uh, and I hope to hear from you guys, and I'll see you guys in the gym. Take care.